Two major agreements were announced by both the British and Nigerian governments. In the first one, the United Kingdom will provide £10 million for investment in energy access projects and support Nigeria's climate change commitments. UK Minister for Africa Vicky Ford also says that this will benefit most people in rural communities. I'm delighted that your government has now endorsed the energy transition plan with its focus on renewables and on creating high quality green jobs. You'll all know that Nigeria still has 85 million people without reliable access to energy. Implementation of the new plan will need to be done in a way that supports those people's needs. And it's vital that the plan is backed by the investment of large sums of institutional capital in Nigeria, like pensions funds and insurance money. The Nigerian government is expectant that this will bridge the funding gaps and improve solar hybrid energy projects. This plan showed the pathway to an energizing economy and carbon neutrality by 2060 and highlighted the need for additional investment of $410 billion Above, above business as usual over the next 40 years. Whereas all efforts have been geared towards unlocking private sector activity in the clean energy transition, one major challenge continues to be, to be private sector access to local currency financing. This is where local institutions such as pensions and insurance funds have a key role to play. Uh, incidentally, we already had a, an existing uh, partnership where you know the as you mentioned they come in with a uh, blended financing to help uh, raise local currency uh, good thing is that we have a program uh, the Nigerian electrification program uh, which is already administering uh, 550 million dollars from the World Bank and Africa Development Bank uh, and they serve as subsidies uh, to these same developers. So with this uh, blended financing coming in, I think what you find is that it complements uh, the already existing programs uh, we have uh, that we give grants uh, through the NEP and the uh, Royal Electrification Fund. In the other memorandum of understanding, the UK government is facilitating the payment of over £200,000 as compensation to Nigeria after the UK serious fraud office unraveled the use of corrupt agencies in the oil and gas sector. It comes after the Serious Fraud Office entered into a deferred prosecution agreement with Amec Foster Wheeler Energy last summer. Under that agreement, which was approved by a United Kingdom judge, this compensation was awarded to the people of Nigeria. The federal government will now use this money to help fund three infrastructure projects that will directly benefit citizens in Nigeria. The compensation worth a little over 180 million naira is expected to be spent on ongoing infrastructural projects, including the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, the Abuja Kano Road, and the second Niger Bridge. Punarman Benjamin, Rice News.